Well, good morning. Yep, I am having a cup of coffee. About half of this is milk. I know, I shared with you that I was having gastric reflux and you shouldn't, you know, be drinking coffee when you have that. The caffeine stimulates, um, you know, stomach acid and all that. But also, if you suddenly stop drinking coffee, you get terrible headaches. So I've been compromising by having a little coffee every day. And it seems to be working out all right. So anyway, I am having coffee. But um, I just, I wanted to pop on here. Yeah, I haven't been on for a few days. We've had a lot of rainy weather. And um, I haven't slept well because of the reflux. And I just didn't feel like getting on. But I thought, you know... I need to come back because there's something that I wanted to share that I think may be really important to some people, which is, do you like yourself? Do you go by a mirror and see yourself and smile? Um, you know, in the Muppet Christmas Carol, if you've never seen it, it's a wonderful movie. Uh, actually, I think it's more for adults than it is for kids. But it's our family favorite Christmas movie. And um, Ebenezer Scrooge, at one point in the movie, played by Michael Caine, just marvelous, marvelous rendition of Ebenezer Scrooge. He gets up Christmas morning when he's finally kind of seen the light after all three ghosts of Christmas have visited him. And he's just, you know, my gosh, it's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. He's going to start um, just making up for all of his bad ways. And he goes to get ready and he goes to the mirror and he looks at himself and he goes like this, you know, like, oh. <laughs> And do you do that ever in the mirror? You know, when I see myself in the mirror, I smile at myself because I like myself. I'm happy with myself. Yeah, you know, there are probably some times that, are there times I don't smile? There probably are, but most days, the image that I see in the mirror is smiling back at me. And what I wanted to say is, if you find yourself thinking negative thoughts about yourself, thinking about the things you do wrong, the, thing, the places where you come up short in life, and um, other people, if you compared yourselves, other people always seem to, you know, say it better, do it better, wear it better, um, Do you compare yourself with other people? If you do, you got to stop that. But here's the thing. Lots of times, we don't even compare ourselves with other people, but we still get down on ourselves. It's like we have some imaginary standard, and we're always comparing ourselves to that standard. And sometimes, or for some people, often, we don't measure up. And, you know, you, you got to stop that. I have some, um, what I think are explanations for how some of that happens. And I actually <clears throat> think some of that happens in school, um, you know, where teachers end up, oh, you know, so-and-so, these are the people that got a hundred on the test and, you know, you're not one of them. Maybe you're never one of them. And you always end up feeling less than the others. And maybe there are three people in a class of 25 that got a hundred on the test. So that means there's 22 people who did not get a hundred and you're in that group. Do you think about how most of the people did not get a hundred? No, you think about 
they got a hundred and I didn't. And we tend to just, oh, be so hard on ourselves. And if this is speaking to you, you know, I hope that you'll take this to heart, that it's my belief anyway, that, and many people believe this, God created you unique. And honestly, even if you don't believe in God, just look around. How many people do you see that are exactly the same, exactly the same as other people? Nobody. Everyone is different. Everyone has something to contribute to this life. Everyone has something interesting about them. Everyone has the possibility of changing and improving themselves and becoming different than they are if that's what they'd like to do. Becoming maybe more of what they already are. Everyone, including you. So if you've been thinking down negative thoughts about yourself, my message to you today is stop it. Stop doing that. How can you stop doing that? You know, one of the first ways that you can stop doing that is to start writing down, maybe when you get up in the morning, just real quick, you don't have to take up a lot of time. Maybe put a, a pad and a pencil by your bed, and as soon as you wake up, think. Take one minute and think of three things that you're thankful for, that you're grateful for. Do you know what? When you do that, honestly, and this has scientifically been proven, it changes your brain chemistry so that you are able to be more positive during the day. I mean, it actually changes, I don't, you know, serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, blah, 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 all these different things. I can't tell you exactly the, chem you can Google it if you wanna know the exact chemical interactions. But you know, scientists have studied this and found that people who practice gratefulness, who think about the things that they're thankful for, even if you just take a small amount of time to do it, it actually changes the sort of happy chemicals in your brain and you start viewing things in a more positive way. And that'll include yourself. That will help you to view you in a way that maybe will make you smile in the mirror at yourself like I do. So, you know what? If you've got a mirror nearby, or the next time you pass by one, sneak a little smile at yourself. See how it feels. And if it feels uncomfortable, then you need to practice some gratefulness and start making a list of the things you're comfortable for. You really do because you have within you the power to change yourself and you can change how you feel about yourself. Mm. I hope that you have a really good day and that you take my advice.